Kando Kata too. This is a very dynamic kata as you see. We do it from Waki no Kamai with an ice pick. So Kesagiri immediately followed up with a ski. Here again two Kesagiris up and down and a ski. And this is already the end of the kata. Breaking contact, jumping back and stopping in Waki no Kamai. Once more slow. Big, big Kesagiri immediately ski. Nice movement here with the spine. Melody shows it very good how to do the uh, movement very dynamic. And now we see how to apply it against the katana. Shomengiri, classical attack. Here once more from the other side, going out of the line of attack and stepping. Here you see very, very good uh, the footwork, how she goes around the opponent or how she avoids the cut here. Cut to the hand, to the, then to the face, to the neck, and here she goes into the opening of the yoroi. So we do it very typically in ninjutsu, we hide the weapon, we don't present it to the opponent, we sh only show it when we use it. We hide it behind the back or behind the thigh, and then we suddenly attack. So the opponent doesn't know that we have a knife or uh, any kind of weapon. So he attack comes in from Felix, and I go immediately to the hand and then, for example, to his throat. Yeah, maybe he tries to attack a second time, and this is the second set of it. And I cut the arm and step to the lung under the armpit. Once more, I go out immediately to step and I, maybe I cut here the hand or control the hand to prevent the second attack of his and cut the hand, brings up the sword and I cut the hand and go over to the other side. Then here the femoral artery, once more. I cut here immediately, for example, and do my step. This is the second uh, set of it. Yeah. Always try to work with a kata free. Don't do it in a stupid way, only how it was uh, delivered from the past. Try to move, try to play with the move, and try to learn and do henka. Variation, like here comes a dogiri, a horizontal cut, and I stop it on the hand, immediately control him. And now I do the back, this uh, yoko aruki. This is the, this is the sideways stepping. This is called yoko aruki. And I open his uh, armpit and uh, attack him. So you see the way I lift his arm, his hand, I bring him off balance. I break his balance and I can cut the armpit or here the inside of his arm where all the big nerves and arteries are and then I do a comma cut and maybe a kick to the ground. So once more he attacks, I cut, open and attack the armpit. We also had in this first movement this cut and this uh, thrust. Immediately I can attack here and now as you see, I turn the blade like I write a comma. I do a comma cut, so to say. And this is uh, increasing the damage of the thrust. Uh, I open the wound channel much, much more. So it's more a problem for the attacker there. It has more effect on him. Not just uh, that his lung is punctured, also I cut maybe the latissimus, the big back muscle. And here, for example, I attack now his stomach and as the camera comes around, you see that I still have control in his left elbow and he cannot cut me anymore. Yeah. Maybe I'm on his uh, yoroi, but he cannot cut. And now I just follow the arm into the armpit and can harm him, can go to the knee as well. And now I have also his katana. So I go to the other side now, who says that I cannot do that. I just play with the cutter, play with the idea. Yeah, who says that I cannot do that? I'm just playing with it, insert my knife and control it in that way. I use it now as a hook, not so much as a knife. And now I attack him, control him and break contact. Again from another angulation, attack comes in, I cut him. And yeah, cut. And then, for example, I can step here as well to the armpit, under the arm. 
or what I did in the beginning. I cut and insert the knife and control him in that manner. Here I can attack the arm, it's like a uagyaku a little bit, and attack his neck. Yeah, it's a pulling and then a immediately I go to his neck and bring him down in this nice fashion. So, so like that I can play with the idea. Uh, how to use that tactics in modern life, it can be a baseball bat, it can be a baton, a knife, a, a bottle, it can be anything. But you don't show the blade to, his, to the opponent, he does not see, and suddenly you are a totally different animal. You know? And I can react in many ways, I can go to the right side, to the left side, you know, I come to here, to the outside again, like we did it before, I get the katana, and here I already cut, cut his wrist. His fingers come to a cut under the armpit and through the face, as you see, and bring him down and let him drop into the knife. Maybe nice technique. Hatsumi sometimes showed in seminars. Okay, once more, nothing happened to him. So I go to the inside immediately. I, I cut and gain control on his attacking limb. Once more, I cut and can step here again or just hook the uh, knife behind his back, come to the other side, disarm him. So here I don't uh, harm him too much, it's just the hand that I attack. And I can play again with the cutter, switch hands for example, and use the knife like a hook again, and can do many nice things to him. So have fun with it.